Grace Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. No, I'm TNT. Don, I'm IT Explosive One. Oh, let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. Yeah. All right, we normally don't talk about like pop culture or whatever, like movies and <laughs> I mean, oh. well, movies and music and stuff okay. for the most part. I watched this movie yesterday mm-hmm. and it was flipping wild. Uh, do we have to issue a spoiler alert? I'm fine with you spoiling it for me. I mean, the movie came out in 2019. So, yeah, I've never seen it. At this point. It's called Vivarium. V I V A R I U M. Okay. Vivarium. So, like, basically, it starts out and, like, it, it, this couple, and, like, you can tell that they're, I don't know, they don't seem like they have a good rapport. Oh. But but they're, like, together, right? A tumultuous relationship. And and, and they don't do a lot of build up because, like, 20 minutes into the movie, everything's already gone crazy. But (laughs) so, so, like, She's like a teacher and he like works at the school too or whatever. And, and they like, they're talking about going to buy a house. They go to this area and it's like one of those area, uh, they go to this office and it's like one of those places. It's like one of those home communities where like all the homes look the same essentially. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and the guy who's, who's a suburb, yeah, right. Uh, and the guy who's in the office, you, he's just we Like, honestly, the, the first point of this movie is. If this dude was the guy I showed up with, I would not go anywhere with this man. He was really weird, off-putting, like, whatever. There was some unkempt? No, he was very kempt. He was kempt. He okay. was just weird. It was just like, he seemed like he he just didn't seem right. Seemed like, like this right. dude doesn't seem right. So anyways, so they he they follow him to this community, and all the houses are like seafoam green. And there's like a billion of them, and they're all exactly the same. Hmm. And there's nobody anywhere, right? Reminds me of like the intro to Weeds. Right. So, so, <laughs> and they're all made out of ticky tack little <laughs> houses on the hillside. So they, they go in and he's showing them around. He's being real, real effing weird. And he shows them the backyard. And when they turn around, he's gone. Ah. And, and, and when they go to leave, and like it's weird because they go into the house and they're like, here's the bedroom. Here's yep. the baby's room. Here's the whatever. All this yep. weird shit. And now you're in Silent Hill. And then, right, essentially. <laughs> so, so the guy leaves. They, the they go out front and, and he's gone. So they're like, well, let's just get out of here. Well, they start driving around and they can't get out. Uh, and every time they stop the car, they're back at the house that he showed them, unit number nine or whatever. Uh, so they eventually they, they run out of gas and they're like, well, I guess we're just – and of course they run out of gas. They're right in front of house nine again and they're starting to bicker and not know what's going on. Uh, so they go in and there's like – you know, he, had, he when they went in, there was like a, like a welcome package of strawberries and champagne or whatever. So they do oh, that, yeah, yeah, whatever. So they wake up like the next day or – they, they jump in time because they're trapped there. A box shows up in the street. There's a human baby in it. And they're like, raise this baby and you're free to go or whatever. So like. Raise this baby and you're free right, to exactly, go? Right, exactly, dude. So then, so then what happens is it's going and like it jumps and all of a sudden the, the baby is a boy. And they, and they do a thing where they're like measuring him on the wall. And it's only been like. Three, 90 day, 98 days and the kid has went from a baby to a like eight year old boy no you know what fam look i wouldn't i'm not agreeing to that well right I'm well not. they can't, there's nothing else to do right Can they, so, they can't call the cops well right th- their phones don't work there's no service the uh, guy crawled up on the roof it's literally as far as the eye can see whatever so God, but this forced, kid being forced into parenthood is like a, wor- a punishment worth oh death. Well, but here's the thing the kid he sits there and mimics them he like literally will just go. He stood. The first thing you see the kid as a as a as a, a like an eight year old. He stands at the foot of the bed and he literally just like you know when you're playing both sides of a conversation and you're like da 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 and then you turn and do the other person. Yeah. He did that, mimicking each of them in their own voices when they were having a fight. Oh okay. And then it's and then a he demon just, child. And then he just stands there and screams. Mm. Just. Top of the lungs, whatever. And then it slowly becomes like the mother like instinctually starts becoming a mother towards him. And the 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 guy starts like hating him. He like flips cigarette butts at him and he's like da 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 all this stuff. <laughs> That's what they should have did to the kid in the Baba Duke. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then so eventually it becomes a point kid. of contention and the dude's like, F this kid, and she's like screaming at him, I'm not your mom, because he keeps calling her mother. The guy mm. like locks him in the car and was like, We're gonna kill it, let's not feed him and like Should have did that the first day. And this kid is just constantly doing all of this. And then the guy starts like digging a hole in the front yard because he like thinks that gives him something to do, and then all he does is start digging a hole in the front yard. The kid being weird he's screaming all the time and mimicking them all the time and like 
And, wow. And I, maybe I won't spoil it, but then the, then all of a sudden he becomes an adult. Oh. And like, and like it just then it's just it just goes for it's just it gets weirder. That I mean, yeah, it goes down that same path. So I mean, I can tell you what happens, but I mean, do you want me to spoil? Uh, it? Issue the spoiler right, right now. End, if you don't want to know the, what happens, close your ears. At the very end, right the now. guy works himself literally to death. He finds dead bodies in the hole, mm -hmm. in wrapped up in bags, and then when he dies, they the kid who's now an adult wraps him up in a bag, throws him in the hole. The mom eventually dies, and at one point there's a scene where he's like, da 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 da, mother, and she's like, I'm not your mother. And like, but she ends up dying. He throws her in the hole. Mm -hmm. He fills the hole in. He takes their car, drives to the office, kills the guy who's in the office, becomes the guy in the office. The next couple walks in to go to the homes. Like, so it's just like this, it's a weird because the guy, the the father figure keeps saying, He's not human. Whatever he is, that is not a human. Yeah, Quit referring yeah. to him as him. It's an it. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, so it's this weird thing. And at one point, she's trying to follow the, the adult weird human guy around. And she, like, he lifts up the, the sidewalk and goes into a hole. And she, like, gets starts getting sucked through all these other families. Well, that you, are don't, going, you don't want to get sucked through. Yeah. Dude, insane. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? Like... In it's this movie, a, it sounds like a solid film. Honestly, if I honestly, I've, I feel like I've heard of it before. After I've heard some of the uh, some of the stuff that happened in it, yeah, it's one I'll probably have to check out. Even was, even it, if I know what happens, it still it was, sounds like a wild ride. It was weird, like because like the kids are just screaming. She's like, "What do you want? We well, fed you." What do yeah, you? I don't know. I kind of hate kids screaming in movies. Me too. Like, I, I agree. I'm not like a child hater. Like, I don't hate kids. I'm not a child lover either. Don't think that. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know. Something about children screaming in movies and trying to be, like, annoying. Something about kids screaming annoying. in general in <laughs> movies or real life. <laughs> I mean, that too, but. Yeah, dude. So, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't have kids. I've purposely not had any children my whole life life yeah and i feel like for being forced into parenthood like that has got to be the worst yeah. the worst that yes. is a punishment like no don't do and that. like yeah they tried to burn down the house at one point and it it, it, it caught on fire came back like dude it was like they tried everything to get away from this place okay. and they couldn't because i know i would try everything to get away from there yeah it was uh it was nuts and they would like and it would like the boxes would just show up out in front of the house with like food or like whatever like it was yeah. i like you know i like i like movies like that it wasn't like a horror movie it was a psychological thriller right Right, psychological, and, and I think honestly, like I like horror movies and I like psychological thrillers, but like horror movies that are just like killing to kill, I'm not as into. I like yeah. the ones that also have the psychological, like what yeah. the f, I like don't... X, dude. Oh yeah, we it, saw X. That it, was, it was a like long there was a lot ago. of just kind of killing or whatever, but like there was a psychological aspect yeah. to it that was like, dude, this is kind of wild. It like, was it was a good horror movie. The makeup in X was terrible, absolutely the worst makeup. And then kind of at the end, they're like, this is why I was so bad. And I was like, no, it was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like the psychological aspect of yeah. it was kind of yeah. like. I thought it was good. I love, yeah, anything that's like weird and you're just like, what the hell is that? I also realized that I found out in my life is that I have bad taste in movies, Jonas. Okay. I don't know if you know this about me, but I have bad I taste mean, in like movies. I mean, you like Sonic. That, that Sonic is a treasure. He's a national <laughs> treasure. And that movie is okay. It's pretty damn good. Anyway, but uh, especially when it comes to horror movies, because I just tend to like most horror movies. Me too. I like I trash. To. Like, I'll go see almost any. Now, I won't see any horror movie in the theater, but I'll see nah, 85% of them in the I theater. I mean, if you were to tell me is that there's some movie that, that we're going to go watch and it was uh, like a rom-com I'm going to be like, I'm probably going to pass. Right. But if you were like, hey, there's this new horror movie, I'll be like, all right, let's go. Right. And that's normally what happens. Because yeah. like, I'll be like, hey, there's a horror movie I'm going to go see. You're like, sure, I'll go. And yeah. I'm like, you want to know what's back? You're dude. like, man, whatever, dude. Dude, <laughs> if, it has, if it has a horror, if it's a horror movie, uh, superheroes, or a, a musical, I'm there. Don't and not judge. any musical though, because the, there's rom com musicals. Okay, I'm not. No, I'm not seeing my big fat Greek wedding. Right, or right. Some shit. Like, yeah, is exactly. that a musical? I don't know. Yeah, like I, yeah, almost any horror movie. As long like if somebody was like, "Hey, it's an exorcism movie," I'm like, "I'm not going to see that." Yeah. Or like, a, if they're like, "It's a ghost movie," I'm like, "Not probably." But I, do, I like that stuff. <laughs> but like almost any normal activity, Jonas. That movie has scarred me for life. Yeah, that I when mean, he pulled her leg out of that bed, dragged her down the hallway, and closed to slam that door, Jonas. That will. 
forever stick in my mind. I could just Dude, see that shit I chills see up my screaming spine. Screaming about that when that happened. It's I, it sent chills up my goddamn spine. Yeah. I watched that scene eighty seven times <laughs> that day just but, to desensitize myself so I didn't have nightmares. But yeah, dude, any any psychological thriller, slasher. Any of that, I'm in, dude. I'm Let's in. go. I'm in. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. But for Jonas, TNT, uh, we out.